Hi everyone, I am Shivam Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2019 Paper 2 Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. The value of sec inverse 1 by 4, sigma k equal to 0 to 10, sec 7 pi by 12 plus k pi by 2, sec 7 pi by 12 plus k plus 1 whole times pi by 2, in the interval minus pi by 4 closed to 3 pi by 4 closed equals. This is a numeric type question where you have to put your answer by typing. As we see this expression, the first thing that should come to our mind is to convert to sine and cos. Also, another thing that you should notice is, if this you see as theta, this essentially is pi by 2 plus theta. Check it out. So that means, sec inverse 1 by 4 sigma 1 by si, uh, sec is 1 by cos so it essentially becomes cos 7 pi by 12 plus k pi by 2 and here cos pi by 2 plus theta is essentially minus sine theta so you may say minus sine and this theta essentially is 7 pi by 12 plus k pi by 2 so if you see carefully sin theta cos theta is essentially sin 2 theta by 2. So this essentially becomes sec inverse 1 by 4 times sigma of course uh, k varies from 0 to 10 minus 2 times sin 2 times this theta or you may say k pi plus 7 pi by 6. Now you can say uh, sin k pi plus 7 pi by 6 is essentially if you just consider this expression it is sin k plus 1 pi plus pi by 6. So I can write this expression let's go to next slide as sec inverse minus 1 by 2 sigma cosec k plus 1 pi plus pi by 6 k varying from 0 to 10 let's check it out sec inverse minus 2 by 4 becomes minus half sigma k equal to 0 to 10 1 by sin is cosec so cosec k plus 1 pi plus pi by 6 now if you see carefully cosec even integral multiple of pi plus theta is cosec theta and cosec odd integral multiple of pi plus theta is minus cosec theta. So essentially whenever k plus 1 is even this expression would be cosec pi by 6 and whenever k plus 1 is odd this expression would be minus cosec pi by 6. So k is even for 6 times and and k is odd for 5 times. So that means k plus 1 becomes odd 6 times and k plus 1 becomes even 5 times. So that means 5 times you would get cosec pi by 6 and 6 times you would get minus cosec pi by 6. So essentially what you get is sec inverse minus half times minus cosec pi by 6 which essentially is minus 2. So this essentially becomes sec inverse 1 which is 0 which is our answer. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.